So what makes dengue so difficult to find, and should there be more funding for a possible cure? I put those questions to Courtney Murdoch. She's an assistant professor at the University of Georgia. I think this disease is so prevalent because it's a very tough problem to tackle. So there are many sides to this problem that make it difficult to tackle. So one, it's a virus which we currently lack therapeutics for. So we don't have antiviral medications that can help moderate the infection when people come down with dengue. And we also don't have a vaccine which helps uh, prevent populations that are at risk um, for dengue epidemics. From, you know, we don't have any preventative measures for this. Um, this virus. You mentioned the word neglected. I was looking at research dollars. They, they total somewhere in the neighborhood of about 76 million in 2013. If you compare that to HIV AIDS, that's 1.1 billion. Uh, why so low? I think it comes down to matter of perceived threat. So many of the countries that are investing large sums of money in infectious disease research don't experience dengue epidemics. Uh, so, for example, within the States, um, I'm often surprised at the uh, kind of people I talk to that have never heard of dengue virus. So I think that they have heard of HIV, and HIV is a perceived threat, so that might influence how dollars are spent. Um, and I also think the question of how we allocate funding across infectious diseases may not be the issue, but the issue, we should have a conversation about how much money overall is allocated to infectious disease research. Neglected tropical diseases are becoming a rapidly expanding global problem with huge economic and public health impacts. And so we need to start talking about how we can get funding for these diseases on the level of HIV, malaria, and tuberculosis. Uh, you mentioned expanding, and, and it is spreading outside of its traditional uh, locales. Uh, we have an outbreak right now in Hawaii. Uh, there was one in Tokyo uh, last year, the first time in some 70 years. Uh, the Florida Keys saw an outbreak in 2009. Do you think that if there is uh, more of these outbreaks, if there are more outbreaks like this in, in these areas, uh, will there be a correlation, do you think, between the amount of money going to it? Uh, because it will become a little bit more top of mind. Yeah, no, I definitely think the amount of money you put into something translates into, you know, net gains. So we definitely need to invest more money um, and resources to populations that are most affected. And these are going to be populations of urban poor. And again, a lot of these urban poor populations lack um, public health infrastructure and access to public sanitation. So you're going to potentially have more uh, trash, for example, around people's home. And that's going to even increase the amount of breeding habitat for mosquitoes even more, which will facilitate dengue virus transmission. And then again, they, they lack resources to implement wide-scale vector control programs and surveillance programs that are required for um, better managing this disease. I want to get your thoughts. I know it's early, and, and we'll finish with this. Uh, there's a, a new dengue fever vaccine developed by a French pharmaceutical firm that has been approved for use in Mexico. Are you encouraged by this news? Yeah, I am encouraged. Um, I think I think we definitely need therapeutics that can help combat this disease. It's a mul we're going to need multi-pronged technologies coming together to to control disease transmission. Um, the one th the one thing that's um, slightly worrisome about dengue is a lot of the um, pathogenic effects of the virus come from the host immune response. So designing a vaccine is actually um, tricky because you're because you don't want to be making populations that are vaccinated more susceptible to future dengue virus um, infections. Well, Kurt, Courtney, uh, thank you so much for joining us from, uh, from Georgia. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. It's my pleasure.